Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to my Explosions How To uh, series. In this video we're going to talk about uh, resizing an explosion. So let's go ahead and pick an explosion out. This pack is my uh, my Volume 2 explosion pack, so it's something that will be coming out if it's not already out. Uh, so I'll, I'll select this nuke, or what I call a nuke. It's uh, definitely um, pretty cool, but I, I, I like to have more of a nuke um, particle in the future. Uh, but this is the closest I got to it so far. Anyways, let's go ahead and what I want to do is I want to size this one up. So let me undo that and go to the content browser, select it. And what I want to do is go ahead and duplicate this before I do anything. Duplicate it and we'll call this one a big nuke, right? Uh, or the Z nuke so I can see at the end. All right, so basically I'll drag this out to here. And the first thing that most people want to do is... Um, just grab it and size it up. So let's do that. Let's hit R and let's go ahead and size it up uh, two times. In fact, I'll do it over here so I can control it. Hit two. And what you'll see is that it does size up, right? And if that looks cool to you, that, that's great. Uh, that's a quick and easy way to prototype um, explosion to scale out. But there is one little caveat with um, uh, sizing up and scaling particle systems. Uh, they only really size up the textures inside of the particle system, not necessarily the the um, the velocities and the spawn rates, and also um, volumes. So what I what do I mean by that? So let, let me show you an example of that. So uh, I know I have this one set at, at two times. So I'll go ahead and open this up in Cascade, and I will go to the very end here, and I'm going to create a new emitter, new particle emitter, and uh, let's take off the velocity. Let's get the spawn rate up about oh let's say 100 times and what you'll see uh, uh, is that a sphere to it also a location sphere so we emit from a sphere uh, let's go ahead and make that 200 and let's go ahead and make this uh, only in the um, non x and positive x direction uh, so one other thing I want to point out on, on my particles um, I always make the particle facing towards the X direction. So once we actually see this particle, I'll take this one off and reactivate it. Uh, we actually have not gr grabbed the particle system itself and moved it in the uh, correct direction. It's actually pointing to the left here. So let's go ahead and rotate this um, by 90 degrees. And then escape. If you hit G, you can kind of see that the arrow is now uh, pointing straight up and down. So that's exactly what I wanted to see. and what I'll do is on my go back to my particle system. What happens is, is whenever you uh, spawn this, you want this to be reflected back up in the X direction. So this uh, uh, nuke is uh, spawning particles and lights in the in that direction. So if you don't have the direction set, uh, it'll look weird. You'll have lights spawning off to the right. So all right. So back up to my example here. I want to go ahead and um, show you, just kind of show you what I'm talking about. I'll go ahead and solo this. And on my Cascade. I'm gonna make this sphere where it only can spawn on the surface only. So what you can see now is a ring. Is this nice little ring here? Ah, Windows 10 sometimes bugs me with the edge borders. All right. So all right, there's a ring. Now the funny thing is that we know we already we already sized this particle up two times. So let's just make a duplicate of that. So let's hit Alt and Shift, to drag it once, and then as as we see. Uh, in the details panel, I'm going to change, uh, size that back down to one. And when I do that, you see that this, the volume did not size down. Uh, only the particle sprites did, the size of the sprite. So that's a problem for the, uh, for the effect itself. So if you have designed certain uh, looks, um, they don't scale appropriately. So specifically, specifically the volumes, the velocities, and also spawn rates um, don't scale. So let me go ahead and delete this one out of the way. Let's get back to our topic. I'll delete this off and we can get going on the rest of the resizing. So um, yes, delete that. So basically uh, what we want to do is if we scale up a particle this way, this is great to get to where the size we want. And then if we want to really tweak out how it looks at that scale, uh, we need to actually modify the particle. Now you could just keep this at a scale of one and then modify the size in the particle system, which is one way to do it. But let's say if you want to do it this way, you want to scale that up. Well, then you still need to go in here and look for all the places that have 
to have uh, velocities. So this velocity is at 200. Well, we need to multiply that times 2. We go to 400. And then we go to uh, see if there's any any um, spawn locations. There's none on that one. And this one, let's see, initial size, initial color, initial velocity. We need two times that. So we can make this one 1,800. And this one 1,600. And we can do 20 and 20. Now, this is something I'd like to see uh, more improvements with in the new particle editor. As Cascade by itself, I mean, there's some other things that could be done uh, to make it automatically scale everything uh, without <clears throat> without it being built in. It's, it's uh, kind of annoying through Cascade. But anyhow, let's move on to here. And we have the sphere here of this explosion. Now, um, we'll want to double that size too, so we'll go to 100, increase the volume of that. And then let's go over to the explosion. We have, uh, this one's all good. There is no velocities in here. Uh, oh, there's one other thing you need to be aware of. Uh, there could be velocities in the sphere. If you look in here, if this velocity is set, it is not, well, I'm not using it in this exact emitter, but if it was, I'd have to scale this up by two times two. So this one is not the case. Uh, we'll move on to the uh, next scale, which would be the uh, smoke ring. This um, is actually, uh, if I if I solo this, this is actually the explosion wave that pops out. Oh my goodness! All right, and there you go. See that wave? So what I want to do is uh, increase that by two. The sphere, and that one actually has a velocity on it too. So um, that's one of the ones you can change also. So as this one actually grows from zero to 1,000 on a curve, we'll actually have to make the, the outer radius bigger. So that one has to multiply times two. And then um, the velocity can also be multiplied by two on this one, like I said early, earlier. But I'm going to go just go by six because I know how particles are. Sometimes it's not direct on that one. That's up to, to preference. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the initial velocity. Um, this one we do want to double, so let's go ahead 2,000 on that one, and 2,000 on that one, 100, or 1,000, and minus 2,000, and minus 2,000. All right, so that expands the, uh, the, the smoke, uh, smoke shock wave. All right, let's look at the, um, uh, there's nothing else in here. All right, drag, usually the acceleration or the, the drag, uh, I leave those typically alone. Uh, but again, those could be ones that you may want to um, turn up, but usually not drag. All right, let's go to the next one. We see initial velocity. We want to change that to 40, 40, 800, minus 40, minus 40, and then 100. So this really helps expand the center part of the, the core out uh, for all the little effects going on in there. And this one also has a sphere. We want to double that to 600. And then uh, we'll go on. There's quite a bit of emitters in this one. Uh, initial velocity, we'll do the same thing on that one. 200, 200, 200, minus 200. All right. Or copy, paste it a few times. Minus 200. So there's a lot of co uh, copy and pasting in Cascade. That's pretty much all you do uh, at some point in time. So let's look at the, the sphere on this one. This one expands from 50 to 200. So we'll want to make that 100 to 400. And we'll want to go down to uh, the velocity here. And we will two times that velocity also. Uh, sometimes the uh, velocity scale, uh, actually I don't want to change on this one. Um, uh, if you do the velocity scale, that has a scale factor of the center explosion um, versus the, the random velocity that it gets or assigned velocity that it gets. So that's really up to preference. You could do that one, a kind of look by look basis. Um, we'll go on to the next emitter here, and this is the another explosion. Uh, there is no velocity on this one. Um, it's actually using another lo location. Um, and this one is uh, the same kind of idea. Uh, initial location, okay, it's at zero, so you don't need to scale that at. Um, if there are some offsets, like a translated box, um, sometimes you may have to uh, scale that up too manually. Uh, let's see here. This is uh, 
good here. And refraction heat, we do want to scale that velocity up to 600 down X axis and 40. Because now it's got to move faster. Um, and then the final thing is the explode light. Uh, and that should all be fine also. So uh, the last thing I do want to talk about here is the spawn rate. So we went over and, and fixed up all the volumes and velocities. Uh, the possibility is that um, the spawn rate may need to be picked up on a case-by-case -case basis. On, on this one specifically, I like to go ahead and go to the, the shockwave itself. And because we are doing such a big distance, this one definitely needs to have a double amount of spawn. So I'll click on the spawn module, and I'll go over here and hit this to uh, two times the amount of spawn for the rate scale. Um, and then uh, if, if this was actually being used uh, in a, besides this burst one, you can actually do two times this one also. So I'll save that out and we'll go over and see how does the nuke look now. Okay. And as we can tell, the nuke did get a lot bigger. Now at least it's filling the volume out much better at the bottom and the shock wave is um, going twice the distance too. So uh, it, it's doing exactly what we set out to now. And if you have any questions on scaling up particles or scaling down, uh, leave comments below. But this should get you started. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.